as we all know, as the holiday season's around the corner, Christmas time, the best time of the year. So anyway, um, we've got a few requests from people on how to do simple makeup for a night out. As you can see, I have no makeup on today. Last week it was way too much makeup, and this week it's like no makeup at all. But it's okay. I'm surrounded by makeup at Etusays, and we're going to get a pro to teach me how to do some magic. So I'm here with our pro, Carol. Carol, say hi. Hello. <laughs> and she's going to teach us some tricks. Now, you know how when the pros do it, right? They make it look so super easy, but then when we try it ourselves, it's like super fail. So, I'm going to get her to do some very simple stuff and then she's going to do it on the right side of my face and then after that, I'll try it on my left side. So, let's go! First of all, we'll start from the base. We're using BB cream. Okay. We'll be using it as a foundation, uh -huh. a concealer or a makeup base, even a sunscreen. So, for the base makeup, yeah. we always start from the cheek area first. When applying base care, especially a cream or a foundation, it will be good to always blend in big movement and okay. upwards. Now, I'm going to use eye concealer. I use one tinted colour accent. And when you want to blend a concealer, it always be good to blend with either your index or your ring finger. Mainly Why because not? the pressure will be softer. It will be better to do patterning so the coverage is more even. Not forgetting to apply concealer on the upper eyelids as well. I always realise a lot of ladies always apply concealer only on the lower area. Yeah, correct. Mm, because they always felt that only the lower portion have downness, so they yes. only do it below. <laughs> okay, but later when you're going to apply eye colours, the eyelid area is very important as well. This is the last step of the base that we're applying. So I'll be using the BB Mineral Powder to set over the BB Cream. Okay, so we are done with the base. Mm. Before we proceed to the eyes, okay, I would just like to apply lip balm. The reason now why I'm applying this so early, so we need some time for the essence to absorb onto your lips first, and then we proceed to the eyes. Okay, now we're going to start with our brow. As you see, eyebrow pencil here comes in. Two sides. One side, you have to use the brush first of all to comb out your hair first. And there are three points that I would like to share with you. Okay, on how to draw a well-balanced eyebrow. First of all, we'll start from the arc. The highest point of your eyebrows, okay. we shade from the arc backwards oh, in backwards. soft feathery strokes. Okay, second point is yeah. placing your eyebrow pencil yeah. on a straight line from the side of your nose. This is the point uh, that you should end. Okay, right, so we it. come to the last point. You can point your eyebrow pencil from the side of the nose. Yeah. Have to be a parallel shade to your eye. Oh, I see. Oh, you see the three points. Mm. You need three points to form yeah, a line. So this will be the like point that. that you should end. From the arc, yeah. you just draw one thin line come down like this. So next, we come to the eyeliners. Okay. For Christmas look, a lot of us tend to go for more dark and intense colours. Yeah. But with lots of highlight on the eye area. Okay, now I'm drawing a little bit thicker at the end. Okay. okay it's to create the cat's liners look. Oh, okay, the cat yeah. eye. Mm, yeah. The more sexy look. <laughs> So you need to join the top and the end together like this. Yeah. For Japanese makeup, they always like to do a full liner effect. Okay. You can draw all the way to the front. It's not oh, a problem. right all the way into like the corner area. Yeah, so you can see the liners is joined at the end. Yeah. Yeah, then later on we apply eye colour. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, I always so thought you put eye colour first then eyeliner. Um, this, this technique will be much softer, your, eye, your eyeliner will not be too intense. Okay. Okay, now we'll move on to eye colours. Okay. Okay, first of all, we start from the contouring colour first. That's okay. the darker shade outside. When it comes to applying the darker shade, Okay, for all eye colours, try not to blend above your eye socket. Okay. You now when we touch our fingers with the eyeball, okay, there's always the socket here. That crease lah. Uh, ah, that okay. crease. So that you cannot apply your colour beyond. And then you go to the other clean applicator, yep. you apply the base. We will go into the highlighting colour. Okay, this will start from the front. Like the contouring colour, yeah. you cannot exit above your eye socket, socket. area. Okay. So okay. Nick, just pick up a little bit. Yeah, and this one you use the middle colour. Yep. You can highlight in the inner corner of your eyes with a soft brush like this. Now it's time to proceed to the lashes. Before you apply mascara, okay. it would be good to curl your lashes first. Then when applying mascara, okay, we always have this problem of okay. staining the eyes. Yes. In that case, you do the lower lashes first. So we are done with the lower lashes as you can see. For the upper lashes, we start from the roots. Mm -hmm. And then you go in a zigzag way like this. The reason why we do it in a zigzag way yeah. okay, is because you want to create more mascara situated at the base of the lashes. So only minimum mascara is left at the tip. Uh -huh. Okay, more mascara should be situated at the base. Oh yeah, because if there's too much at the tip, then the If this the just entire hang thing is the same weight, it will fall down after a while. Okay. The curling effect cannot be long lasting. Okay, next we come to the cheek colour. 
The first point where we start to apply our cheek colour is actually one finger below your cheekbone. Gently pat. Yeah. Like this. You can feel my pressure is very light. Mm. And there's always uh, another guideline is that using your cheek brush from the side of your nose yeah. to the side of your ear. Okay. Okay, your blusher should not go below this line. Oh, okay. Now the last step will be the lip serum. So earlier we have deep prepped your lips, so you can mm. now feel the texture of it becomes so softer. Yes. Mm. So it this is the right condition to apply any lip colour already. Okay. And we're going to use lip liners today. Okay. There are a lot of ladies nowadays always find that lip liners is um, not necessary. Yes. But in fact, a well-balanced, well-drawn lip shape can change the entire look of your makeup. Blend the entire lips with the liner. Okay. Otherwise, when you eat something later, you'll find that only the liner only remains. The... Yes, and then the lipstick is gone. Okay. Next, you're going to put on lip colours. Okay. You realise I apply a liner for you, it's actually red. Yeah. But the lip colour I'm using is pink. It will make your pink colour lipstick to look darker. Oh. But yet, at the same time, you don't want to look too wimpy with the red. True, Yeah, true. so you can just apply the pink lipstick over and blend everything together over your lip liner. Okay, the last step for the lip makeup will yeah. be your gloss. First of all, apply a thin layer on your entire lips first because now you're going to add on more yeah. only on the center of your lips. To create, you know, when light shines on your lips, yeah. it will appear that you have healthy lips. So it saves you the trouble of having to walk around like this. Yeah, if you apply <laughs> the lip gloss, you tend to apply the entire lip that is it's full with the gloss. It yeah. makes like your pearl yet bitten something oily. <laughs> and you've forgotten to remove the oil on your lips. That's true. Yeah. To complete the makeup, you're going to use highlighting powder. Okay. It gives radiance effect to your skin. Okay. Just pick up by the side of the brush gently like yeah. this. And then we okay. always go from outwards to inwards. Okay. We want to emphasize more on here. And you may always use highlight powder to apply on the cupid bow. Okay, that is to emphasize on your lip color. So basically, like if you were to take a light and shine it on your face, you put the highlight. You want to powder. focus on the golden triangle that is the center portion of your face. Oh, I yeah. see here. Mm. I feel so sparkly. It's like I'm so ready for Christmas. Yeah, and for Christmas, it's always about <laughs> so sparkling ready. and bling bling products. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I'm gonna try and do the other half, and hopefully, I can remember everything. Okay, so we'll start with the BB cream. Oh, upwards. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. And now, eyes. I'm feeling that I might have put a little bit too much because it's very bright. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. That's alright. See? So now I'm going to set it with the BB Mineral Powder. Oh, this thing is so soft. And now I'm going to put the... Ha! Lip Balm. Okay, next, the lines, the lines on your face. This first, comb it out, and we'll start at the arc. I think I'm doing it right. This is not working out, people! How come it's so much darker? Ooh, hold on, I need my Q-tip. Okay, this is my Q-tip. I'm just gonna do thing that we did last week. Like the makeup is head. Okay, remember if you watched my last episode, this is how you fix overdrawn eyebrows. Remove a little bit. It's coming off, it's coming off. Okay, that's good. I think we need some help. Carol! Alright, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning your pressure is too hard because you pull it this way uh -huh. and then you do like this. So when you are when doing a very fast motion yeah. action, right? It yeah. tends to be um, harder. Okay. Okay. Softly. So what you want to do is stop and check. It's like cooking. You stop and you taste. So I think that it looks right, Carol. Okay, fast for the color. Okay, color good, color good. So now the, the tail. So it's going supposed to stop there. Okay. Okay. Settle the eyebrows. Next step, eyeliner. Okay, and then you want to do darker on the outside and thinner on the inside. Okay, I think now it's a little bit dark, but it's okay because now the eyeshadow goes over it. So I think it should be alright. We'll try and see how that goes. And I remember she started with the brown. Using this, starting on the outside. Remember, don't go higher than the socket. And then, I'm going to take this highlighter 
with the other side and I'm going to put it all over the inside. Oops! Ah, Bernie! See what happened? This one not clean. Okay, so here's a tip. Make sure that you only use until the, maybe the same thing as your eye. Just that, don't go up to the top. Because then it just interferes with the rest of your makeup. And now, I'm going to take this and do that. Alright, so now is the mascara. Do you realise that you do with mascara, right? Do a lot of you like leave your mouth open? Because a lot of my friends do that, they draw mascara and then it's like... Uh, I don't know why. Okay, now I'm going to do the upper lashes. Okay, so now... Cheek. Start one finger... Okay, this is the highest point of my cheekbone. One finger below. Keep it within here and just go. Okay, now I'm going to put the highlighter. Pat, pat, pat. So up, down, and here. Take a little bit and put it on my cupid bowl. Okay, so now for the last step, I'm going to do the lips. Colour done. Last step is the lip gloss. And then I'm going to put a little bit more in the centre. you see the pulp? Awesome! And I'm done! So Carol, what do you think? How do I score? Hmm, good. Yeah. <laughs> of course you have to say good lah. Really or not? <laughs> yeah, really is good. Okay. Like, especially like, you know, the way your eyebrows okay. is browner now. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so this is the basic look. And you know, like if you want it more dramatic, you can always add more colour or like more shimmer, right? Yes. But you remember, it's always easier to add than to take off. I think I'm ready to go party. How about you, Carol? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. Or have we? No, we haven't, because it's Christmas. In the spirit of Christmas, we're going to have a Christmas giveaway from Etosase. There's three makeup lessons to three lucky winners, as well as a test kit, and you can bring a friend. Isn't it awesome? All you need to do is register for a Click Network account and leave a comment at the bottom with your favourite makeup tip, and I will pick my favourite three. And as usual, to find out more about the products that we've used or anything you want to know, go to the Facebook page. Everything is there. Very good. Okay, bye girlfriends, be beautiful, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>